What's going on everybody? Noble here with you guys today. I hope you guys are having a good week. Uh, is it the beginning of the week? Today's Monday, right? There is no meaning in 2020 guys. It's a weird ass year, but that doesn't matter. We're going to be talking about a brand new game today. And before we get started with that, I do want to let you guys know that I got a code for this game. Uh, the developer was kind enough to send it to me and they know that I like indie games. They know that I love twin stick shooters and instead they sent me a twin stick melee brawler slasher type game it's really weird the game that we're talking about today obviously is breakpoint you guys can see it on screen right now and at first glance it kind of looks like a geometry wars type thing you've got some basic shapes neon colors I absolutely love the music in this game but for what it is it's not a shooter you don't have bullets you don't have guns there are explosions which we'll talk about in just a little bit but instead of your guns you've got axes swords hammers knives and things like that so the challenge of this game is that instead of just trying to stay away from everything and shooting everything from afar is that you need to actually have a plan get up close and take out enemies with your melee weapons as we're playing right now the way that you go ahead and play is obviously you get up close you swing your weapon you pull your trigger you click your mouse button and your weapon swings in front of you now whenever you take out enemies you've got some experience that pops up as those little white orbs that you see me collecting and uh, occasionally if you take out a large enough group you can get some multipliers that will help increase your score now i've seen people on the leaderboards that have up in the millions which i think is ridiculous i think the highest i've ever been able to get up to is uh i think a hundred and fifty thousand and that was like my best run that i've had this entire time along with the experience if you get enough experience you can level up your weapon it's important to go ahead and check out what each weapon actually does because with each level you get a slight upgrade to your weapon so for example with your hammer if you have a level one hammer whenever you swing it it swings in front of you if you can get it up to max level instead of just swinging in front of you you can actually have it go all the way around you in 360 degrees that will allow you to get out of some sticky situations whenever you're stuck in the middle of a large group of enemies. Now, also important to note, uh, you have a basic attack, you've got a heavy attack, and you can also throw weapons. Now, you can only throw your weapons whenever you have at least a level one weapon. So that means that you need to, to consider and take caution whenever you're actually going to throw your weapons. Now, you always have a, a weapon with you. So even if you throw a weapon, you still have your weapon with you. So you can use this for farther range attacks, but you need to be sure that you actually want to throw it because if you miss your enemies, you go all the way back to level zero with your weapon and you need to build up that experience again. So what else can I tell you about weapons? Uh, I think the only other thing is that whenever you do get to level one or higher, you have this ring that shows up around you. You guys can see it around my ship right now. And whenever you hit an enemy with a regular attack, it'll take away one bar. Whenever you do a heavy attack, it'll take away two bars. This is important because once the circle depletes, your weapon actually breaks. But breaking is actually a good thing. Whenever you break a weapon, it causes a massive explosion. And that explosion can be used to go ahead and take out a lot more enemies than you normally would with just trying to swing it. Now, I think that's all that I can talk about for the weapons right now. Uh, besides that, uh, you've got plenty of enemies. You've got, uh, I don't really think they have names or anything, but you have... All different types of enemies that do all different types of things for example just a couple real quick the green ones will just try to swarm you as much as they can try to get you up in the corner and be able to take you out while in the meantime you've got some other ones that i believe are yellow that are like homing rockets that just haul ass towards you and try to mess you up so the entire point of the game is just to go ahead and get the highest score possible and uh i've actually been enjoying it I have plenty of achievements on Steam right now. I'm not sure if I've got all of them yet. I'm gonna have to go back and check, but I am gonna see if I can possibly get all the achievements. I doubt I'll make it very high on the leaderboard. The leaderboard, again, there are some people that have figured this game out already. And uh, while I'm used to twin stick shooters, bullets, staying away from everything, I've never had to get up close with enemies like this. So it's a little bit harder for me, but I really have enjoyed the game. I wanted to go ahead and put it out there for you guys. Uh, this game right now is available on Steam and on Switch. I really would like to have it on Xbox as well, though we don't know if that's going to be a thing that happens right now. And you guys can go ahead and pick up the game for five bucks. Now, again, um, if you guys want to support indies, you guys know how I feel about indie developers, indie games. 
Uh, I think indie games are some of the best ideas that come out of gaming, and I want to support as many indie developers as I can. So if you guys like me, you like twin stick shooters, or if you just want to help out an indie dev, go and check out this game. Again, you can pick it up for five bucks on Steam and on Switch right now. And uh, I guess that's pretty much it. I'm gonna go back, try to get a high score, and uh, see if that's even possible. I don't. I'm not sure that I'll ever pass the 150,000 score that I had. That was the best game I've had by far over the past couple of days. But uh, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, go try that. So go and check out Breakpoint. And uh, yeah, if you guys like it, let me know in the comments that you picked it up. And uh, I'll see you guys in the next video. Goodbye.